view or the rights fee from the from the broadcaster sponsorship or if you get a site fee from Abu Dhabi or Saudi Arabia then the fight becomes a lot easier to make but there's another example of a fight that to us is like porn right just the most wonderful fight but how big is the fight to the the universe it's a bit like Spence Crawford for me one of the best fights that could ever get made will do half the pay-per-view buys of Tank against Ryan Garcia, right? And it's a, it should be really a bigger fight. But bigger followings, different fan bases, bigger social media presence means bigger numbers. And that's something that Better Be Evan Bivol probably haven't got. So, like, we know the value of every fight, but the broadcaster will be the one that will give you the maths behind the value. And sometimes you have to take a punt and put the money up and hope that you hit the numbers, but you have to be realistic as well. And, and better, be, better be up against Bivol, for me, is a fight that probably lands in an international territory with a sight fee. Well, Better be is taking on Smith in Quebec City. Callum Smith is going to knock Better be of spark out, right? You know, like a face down knock, I knockout? To, I had to disagree. No, well, well listen, you're, you're, you're not being very brave because Better be of's the favourite. But watch, see this now. Sometimes you see it, right? And he's going to be up against the ropes. And Better Be going to come in like he does. He's going to square up his feet. And Callum's going to do what he does best, which is catch, counter with the left hook. One punch knockout. Do you, well, Eddie, like about the, do you feel like Better Be is slipping? He's definitely slipping. He's like 39 years old. But he's also a beast. He's unbelievable. He's, he's a, a machine. Yeah, he destroyed Smith in two rounds. He destroyed Yard. Yeah, but Brown. Smith, Smith done. Wait, wait, Marcus Brown? Yeah, Marcus Brown, good fighter. How long ago was that? A year ago. No, it wasn't a year ago. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. Why did that... But see the yard fight? Like, you know... Given the confidence you have in that win, why did the fan land in... Why did the fight land in Quebec City and not in Liverpool? Because I lost by about $5,000 fucking dollars. I bid $2.15 million and they bid $2.155 million. And everyone thought it was a fix. But it wasn't because we were fucking there in Mexico City in person. Okay. And I was gutted. And I hope, that, you know, listen, I know Better Be the favourite. I'm not saying he's not the favourite, but yeah. I can see it in my own eyes. This one punch so knockout. Eddie, can I just ask you something? You can ask me whatever if you want. Does, if it does not go that way, yes. and it goes the way that most of them are, then it'd be yeah. surprised. Yeah. When I tweet you, will you apologise? I won't apologise. <laughs> <because>, uh, <laughs> it's not like I should be sorry, but I, could, I should say, congratulations, okay. you were right. Uh, not, not sorry, okay. you were right, but congratulations, you were right. But whatever happens, we will try to make Bivol against the winner of that fight. Run. It's going to be my next question. We have, we have your recording. We have your work with the boxing fans out there. Oh, yeah, really... 100%. But Maurizio Suleiman is saying that fight cannot be for the undisputed because the WBC will not allow him to fight for the WBC title because he's from Russia. What do you think about that? I that, think, that rule? look, I, I respect Maurizio Suleiman. Yeah. He's a friend of mine. We don't always get agree with everything. I find it it's difficult because Dimitri's our friend and he's probably one of the most nicest peaceful guys you could ever meet. I just feel like, and maybe if I didn't know Dim Dimitri, I wouldn't feel as strongly about this. I don't feel like a man's legacy should be defined by one or a, or a small group of people running his country that he does not agree with that regime or movement. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think if, if he turned around and said, yes, I support this, in, I, I agree. I think that should, you know, but it's very difficult when the guy's saying, no, I don't, I don't even know anything about that. I'm just, I'm just training in LA. I'm a man of peace. I want everyone to get along. Yeah. Like. Putin's still in power. Did you check? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've saw all the stuff, but I'm not really so up to speed with it, to be honest. With you. I, we also lived through Blair and Bush, and I honestly don't remember fights yeah. getting cancelled over Iraq. No, so. no. But I think you can appeal it, and yeah. you know. But, um, but you know, Errol Spence made some interesting comments recently about the belts and stuff. I mean, yeah. you've seen the biggest fight of the year have no belts between Tank and Ryan Garcia. You know. Do you really, do you care if it's not undisputed against Better Behave Bivol? We, we'd prefer it to be. I know the fighters would much prefer it to be, but when it comes down to it, if, it, if it's a case of losing it or making it, you know. 